Well, you can smell the uh, nitrogen dioxide in the air. These are probably hot, so we'll check on a little quick counter first, which is in another vault. Yeah, it's a spicy meat ball. Yep, it's hot. Yep, let's see. Uh, come on. There we go. Yep, so... Only a hundred times background. So we'll stick them in the lead pig. Which is just a shielded container to keep the background low so that you can get uh, as few false counts as possible. This is a big sodium iodide scintillation detector made by uh, Ludlum. We'll put these down in the lead well and just drop the uh, scintillator right down in there. And there you go. Alright, so we are getting a spectrum. And we've got one at about 46.8 keV. There's another one resolving at 180. And it looks like we've got a very large peak out towards about 630 keV. Let's see, am I in luck? Let's see. There we go. Oh, goodness, we've got another one over here. If you get the camera just a bit closer, you can see the down there. There's a little Gaussian correlation that's built into the program that allows you to see peaks that would other be otherwise be hidden to the eye. And oh, and we've also got a few more out here. And this one is at uh, 1.5 MeV. The earlier one was at um, 1 MeV. And then it looks like we've got one out towards about 1.9 MeV. And we'll let this resolve for a little while. And when it's done, I may have some identification for these peaks, hopefully. May have to ask around, but should be able to get it. This right here, the central one, is probably not a true peak, but probably a Compton uh, scattering and that is when the uh, high energy photons are hitting the lead they lose a certain amount of energy when they bounce around and they generate a sort of false but I'm not sure it kind of looks like what you'd see with the Compton continuum of uh, cesium-137 but we will see so there should be a third video